the lawmaker representing Ecot Epene Senatorial District, Senator Christopher Epeyong, has expressed concern over the agitation of succession by the different sections of the country and advocated that the country should review the conditions of the 1914 amalgamation. Epeyong, who spoke Saturday in Uyo, said tribalism, ethnicity, nepotism, and marginalization are factors fueling such agitations in recent times. He recalled that decades ago, when such issues were not there, that Nigerians were living peacefully and happily together whenever they find themselves irrespective of tongue, tribe, ethnicity, and even political affiliation. His words, I think the time has come for us to sit down together and talk about the future of Nigeria. We should sit down and look at the conditions that brought us together under the 1914 amalgamation. It is time to review the 1914 marriage because it will help us resolve the issues foiling agitation for succession by the different sections of the country. We must know if we can continue to live as one country after 100 years. For instance, if you marry a wife and your wife sees you as a troublesome husband, after enduring you for 40 years, one day she came and probably might get up and give you conditions that the marriage can no longer continue unless you refrain from doing those she doesn't like. I believe in the unity of this country. However, there is need to bring an end to those issues of tribalism, ethnicity, favoritism and marginalization threatening that unity. Before the agitations for secession were coming from the southeastern part of the country, my by self-determination group such as Masop and indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, but together the song of secession is spreading. You can remember that Recently, a new Yoruba group, Odudua Nationalist Coalition, ONAC, regions joined the secession clamor by calling for Odudua Republic. So, these are the issues. And we must, you know, sit down to look at them and know whether to remain together or not. What is your thought about what has been said? We would like you to drop your own reaction about what we have had. We have had about the succession agitations and we have been urged to, you know, review the 1914 amalgamation condition. What do you make of this? Well, let's see people's reactions and know their thoughts about this. Ola Wonyi Ola Tunde reacted to this and said, Review of 1914 amalgamation is long overdue. However, we would have continued the way it is now, not for how Buhari has divided Nigeria through his ethnic disposition. And the idiot is doing everything to ruin Nigeria with impunity. Does he think that? The other ethnic group will wait and continue to watch. That is what Ola Wunyola Tunde have said about this. That is his own reaction. He said to reveal the 1914 amalgamation is long overdue. And however, we would have continued the way it is now, if not for the way. President Buhari has divided Nigeria through his ethnic disposition. The man is doing everything to ruin Nigeria with impunity. What do you make of this? I would like you to also share your own thoughts and reaction with us on what has been said. Let's move forward and see what other people's reactions is about this. 
Ifai Umbachu Charles also reacted to this and said, Yes, I agree with you. The amalgamation needs to be rebuilt. The country needs to be restructured or divided so that people can determine how they want to live their lives, not having one someone in Abuja telling us whether our seaport or airport will be international or local and stops, or for them to close the borders in the south and leave the north borders up. What do you make of what Ifai Mbachi Charles has said? He agreed with what has been said in the news about the amalgamation that needs to be reviewed. Charles, you know, go in line with it. He agreed with that. And he furthermore to say that the country needs to be restructured or divided so that people, you know, can determine how they want to live their lives and not having someone somewhere in Abuja that will be telling us whether our seaport or airport will be international or local and stuff or for them to close the border in the south and leave the northern border up. What do you make of this? We would like you to share your own thoughts with us. We would like to also know your own reaction about what has been said. Well, let's move forward and see what we have more. Gui has also reacted to this and her reaction was, I once said it on this platform that what we need is northern and southern Nigeria. Let Nigeria break into two, the amalgamation of the northern and the southern protectorate in 1914 should be reviewed. What do you make of what has been said? We have seen people supporting the, you know, amalgamation. The 1914 should be reviewed. They are saying the protectorate or in 1914 should be reviewed. What is your say to this? Do you also go in line with this review of the 1914 protectorate? Will you support that? But we have a quick reaction from Uche Uko, who quickly reacted with a response to what Gwe has said that the amalgamation can be on literally abrogated by the southern peoples because it expired in january 2014 unfortunately the present crop of slave-minded southern governors continue to slavishly affirm and reaffirm their loyalty to their caliphate overlords it will take a mass uprising to free the ingenious people of southern nigeria we need to amalgamate Nigeria now. That is what Uche Oko have, you know, said in response to what Gwe has said. What do you make of this? We would like you to also share your thoughts with us on what has been said. We have had so many things from different people who have shared their own thoughts with their own perspective of seeing this. They have shown, you know, and shared their own point of view about this. We would like you to also share your own point of view about what has been said we have heard about the succession agitations that has been going on in nigeria and it has been said that we should review the 1914 amalgamation conditions what do you make of that thank you guys for listening do subscribe to this channel if you have not and i'll see you on the other news bye for now